Praise God. Hallelujah. That praise be a weapon that silences the enemy. That praise be a weapon that conquers all anxiety.
know the battle, I know the battle, I know the battle, the battle is yours. I know the battle, I know the battle, I know the battle, the battle is yours. against me and the storm it pours its red upon my head there's a name that's sure to say it's never failing Jesus my salvation and my shield I know the battle I know the battle I know the battle the battle is yours, always yours. I know the battle, I know the battle, I know the battle. The battle is yours, always yours. Yes, I know, I know the battle, I know the battle, I know the battle. The battle is Your name and the enemy runs away. All we have to do, yeah. all we have to do, start singing. All we have to do, start praising your name and the enemy runs away. I know the battle, I know the battle, I know the battle. Come on, church, the battle is yours. You say. Stop praying. 
singing about that the battle is his but you know maybe some of you are facing some battles in your lives but there are battles that you are not meant to carry amen and God says in his word come to me all of you are heavily laden and I will give you rest for my burden is easy for my yoke is easy and my burden is light and so to you, God, whatever battles, Lord, we are facing right now, God, we choose to lay it down to you. We choose, Father God, to entrust this to you, God. There are so many things, God, that seemingly like out of our control. But here we are in your presence. We choose, Father God, to stay here in your presence, Lord God. So won't you meet us again, Father God? So come on, church invite the presence of God where you, wherever you are at right now. Oh, we worship you, Father.
Take me by the hand Come and light the way When I don't understand I hold to what you say Let your peace wash over me
circumstances oh lord and so father wherever circumstances we are in oh hallelujah we will just speak we will just shout out god the name of jesus over everything and thank you father we will just see the enemy will flee oh we are seeing the enemy fleeing oh god 
Away from us, Lord. Away from us, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's just take a moment oh, to sing the name of Jesus. Allow the Lord to surround you with songs of deliverance today. Hallelujah. You're surrounding us with a song of deliverance. Shout out the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, the powerful name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, we shout out the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, we give glory to the name of Jesus oh Jesus oh Jesus come on for the last time we sing oh Jesus Jesus you are my hope my hope and future Jesus you are with me forever strong tower defender your love is so much greater sing your name louder and louder Jesus you are my hope and future Jesus you are with me forever strong tower defender your love is so much greater I sing your name strength our defender fortress hallelujah that's who you are jesus thank you father god we worship you and we honor you lord god we glorify the name of our king we glorify you father god hallelujah we give back to you lord god all these praises and honor and worship in jesus name in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah in the word it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. In Him, we cling our faith. In Him, we anchor ourselves. Amen. And we will be, we will not be shaken. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So just stay with us and uh, let's get it ready to hear the word of God.
Happy Sunday Church! Alam ko na excited na kayong magbigay. So sabi sa Malakay chapter 3 verse 10 to 12, Bring the full amount of your tithes to the temple so that there will be plenty of food there. Put me to the test and you will see that I will open the windows of heaven and pour out on you in abundance all kinds of good things. I will not let insects destroy your crops and your grape vines will be loaded with grapes. Then the people of all nations will call you happy because your land will be a good place to live. Church, alam nyo ba na pinanggit din sa Malakay chapter 3 verse 8 na kapag hindi natin ibigay at ibalik sa Panginoon ang 10% ay tayo ay nagrarab o nagchichit sa kanya. Pero church, alam ko na ang mga taga New Life North Metro ay generous and faithful. Sabi nga, we need to set aside first kung ano yung para sa Panginoon and everything that you need. God is faithful to provide. And I encourage you right now, church, don't look to your resources. You look to your source. And who is your source? It is God, not your husband, not the people around you, or not even your business. It is the Lord, is the one that will provide everything that you need. In terms of your finances, peace, strength, even the provision or the needs of your business, the Lord is faithful. Kaya church, alam ko na excited at masaya kayong magbibigay sa Panginoon. Kasi kagaya ng mga taga Church of Corinthians, di ba? Kahit na alam nilang wala sila, masaya pa rin silang nagbibigay sa Panginoon. At huwag nating hayaan na yung pandemic ang maghihinder sa atin para hindi tayo makapagbigay sa Panginoon. Dahil hindi po Dahilan ng pandemic, hindi pwedeng irason ng pandemic kaya wala ka ngayon. Maybe nag, nawalan ka dahil nagkulang tayo sa pagbibigay sa ating tithes and offering. Kasi church, kung uunahin natin ang Panginoon, uunahin ka din niya. Okay? So, right now, let's pray sa tithes and offering natin. Father God, we thank you so much, Lord, for our tithes and offering. Bless this, Father, and I pray that it will bear much fruits, Father God, as we saw this seed, as we saw our tithes, Lord God. You are faithful, Lord God. Naibalik sa amin, Lord God, kung ano yung nararapat para sa amin, Panginoon. I-bless mo po ito, i-bless mo ang lahat ng mga gawa ng aming mga kamay, lahat ng mga trabaho namin, lahat ng mga source of income namin, pagbalain mo, Panginoon, Lord God. We thank you so much, Lord God, for all that you have done. We bless your name. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, church, we have a lot of ways to give. There's a QR code in your screen. You can scan that and dadalhin ka sa information kung saan ka pwedeng makapagbigay sa church. And, You can also transfer to our BPI account. We have BDO and China Bank. Church, thank you so much for your generosity. God bless you.
Amen. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Kami po'y nagagalak na makasama po namin kayo dito sa ating gawain. Uh, my name is Ruben Villegas Jr. And I am the Associate Pastor of New Life North Metro together with our lead pastors, Pastors Etienne and Mara Morales. And once again, welcome dito po sa ating 2PM Home is Live Taglish Service. Ayan, kamusta po kayong lahat? And ako po ay nananalangin, kami po ay nananalangin na kayo po ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. And mga kapatid, uh, encourage ko po kayo na i-share yung ito pong live broadcast natin para mas marami pa pong mga tao na makarinig ng salita ng Panginoon. Dahil kung meron naman tayo na dapat mas pinakikinggan ngayon sa mga panahong ito kapatid ay ang salita ng Diyos. Amen. Habang tayo ay umaawit kanina, habang tayo sumasamba, you know, merong lines doon na nagsasabi na that Jesus, He is our hope and He is our future. Amen. Naniniwala ka ba doon kapatid na uh, si Jesus, amen, ang iyong pag-asa at siya ang iyong kinabukasan. Come on. Dahil kay Kristo kapatid, merong pag-asa. Amen. At yung ating future, ito kapatid ay secure na. Come on. Secure na kapatid. That's why you don't have to worry. Although in reality, there are there are times kapatid na tayo ay nag-worry. And it's normal because, you know, we're still human being. Amen? But at the end of the day, I pray na marirealize natin na ang Diyos na pinaglilingkuran natin ay mabuti kapatid. Hindi lang siya mabuti kundi siya ay tapat na Diyos. Amen po ba? Hallelujah. Amen. So, welcome po. Ayan, dito po sa ating uh, Taglish uh, service. And for those of you who are joining us for the first time, ayan, bigyan nyo po kami ng mensahe. Diyan po, padalhan nyo po kami ng mensahe dyan sa comment section. Ayan, nais po namin kayo na makilala, i-welcome. And if you have any questions po regarding the church or you wanna be prayed for, mga kapatid, kami po ay more than willing na kayo po ay i-answer po yung inyo pong mga katanungan at ipag-pray po kayo. In fact, you know, para po sa lahat ng mga first-timers, uh, from March of 2020, last year, up to now, mga kapatid, meron kaming inihahandang maganda para sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So, it's an event. Ayan. It's a Zoom event. And basically, gusto namin, kapatid, na mas makilala kayo. And, and, and if you want to be connected to all our ministries, like in Life Group or Alpha, you know, gusto namin na kayo po ay makasama pa namin, hindi lang sa Sunday services natin, kundi sa iba pang mga gawain na meron po tayo dito sa New Life North Metro. And let me tell you this, it's gonna be fun. Alright? It's gonna be fun and we'll get to know each other and we will have a time. We will have time to, you know, play games. <laughs> Anong games yung gagawin natin. But we're so excited, guys, to be with you. We're so excited to know you more. And so, send us a message. Ayan, alam ko, meron pong nagpapapap dyan na info box uh, if you are a first-timer. So, send us a message and we can't wait to meet you online. Ayan. So, hallelujah. So, kayo po ba'y handa na? na makinig ng salita ng Panginoon kasi ako po ay excited na rin na mangaral ng kanyang salita and for how many Sundays kapatid ating pinag-aaralan ang patungkol sa komunidad Amen? So kung kayo po ay nakatutok, <laughs> nakatutok talaga, no? Kung kayo po ay, ay sumusubaybay po sa ating gawain every Sunday, you know, ating po mga pastor, ating pong pastor ay nagtatalakay patungkol sa komunidad Amen? And ako ay naniniwala, kapatid, na kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay maging bahagi ng isang komunidad. Amen? Isang komunidad na kung saan ang Diyos ang siyang nagahari. Isang komunidad na kung saan ang Diyos siya ay nagtatag. At kalooban ng Diyos, kapatid, na tayo ay hindi lamang maging parte nito, kundi kapatid ay eh, magkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na ownership, magkaroon tayo ng tinatawag na na, na meron tayong meron tayong excitement. 'Di ba? Ikaw ay masaya, ikaw ay nagagalak na ikaw ay parte ng isang komunidad. Amen. Ikaw ay parte ng isang community na kung saan si Lord siya ang nangunguna. Is it wonderful to know na ang Diyos kapatid ay meron siyang inihandang community para sa iyo? Amen. And this community that God is building, it's not a worldly community. 
that we are so used to or we're trying to fit in. Come on. It's a different community. It's a godly community, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. It's a Christ-centered community where all its values, its culture, its nature, mga kapatid, is established by God Himself. Amen? Na itong komunidad na ito, mga kapatid, ay sumasalamin or naglalarawan or ito po'y nakapattern sa kaharian ng ating Diyos. Amen? The Bible says that Jesus is the head. Sabi ng Biblia, kapatid, na si Jesus siya ang ulo ng simbahan. Tayo yung katawan ni Kristo, mga kapatid. Amen? And we are part of the kingdom of God. And let me tell you this, we are just a small portion of the bigger picture of God's kingdom. But just because we are just small portion of it doesn't mean, mga kapatid, na wala tayong, uh, wala tayong function or hindi tayo mag enjoy sa community na to, mga kapatid. Let me tell you this, everything that God is doing here on earth, He's doing it through His church. And I'm not talking about the building, mga kapatid. Hindi yung building yung tinutukoy ko, kundi ikaw at ako na pinapanahanan ng banal na Espiritu. Whew! Come on, tayo ang simbahan ni Kristo. Hallelujah. At kalaoban ng Diyos na sa kanyang kaharian ay tayo ay patuloy na lumago. I don't know about you, mga kapatid, but ang dalangin ko araw-araw na habang ako ay nakikibahagi or bahagi ng kaharian ng Diyos, ay patuloy ko na makikilala kung sino si Jesus sa buhay ko. Is that your desire? Is that your prayer that every day of your life, amen, ang desire mo is gusto kong makilala si Jesus. Whew. Gusto kong, gusto kong mas makilala kung sino pa ang Diyos sa buhay ko. But hindi lang upang makilala ang Diyos, si Jesus, sa buhay mo, kundi mga kapatid, I believe na kalooban ng, din ng Diyos na tayo ay ikunik niya sa mga tamang tao. Come on. Mga tao na kung saan ay merong takot sa kanya. Hindi takot kapatid na kung sa, negative na it's not if you know negative fear, it's just you know reverence mga kapatid. Amen. Isang isang Kristiyano, isang tao na kung saan ay lumalakad sa pananampalataya. Meron po ba dito mga kapatid na ikaw ay lumalakad sa pananampalataya? Amen. Hindi lumalakad na naayon sa takbo ng mundo, kundi lumalakad ka sa pananampalataya na nanaayon sa salita ng Diyos at pag ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Amen? So the question is, mga kapatid, kailangan mo ba ng community? That's the question. Kailangan mo ba ng community? Kailangan ba natin ng isang komunidad? Absolutely yes. Amen? But, you know, I'm not gonna force you to be part of it. But I will strongly, strongly suggest that you should. Why? Because it will help you. Come on. It will help you. Because whether we like it or not, whether we admit it or not, we need help. At some point of your life, you need help. Kailangan natin ng tulong, mga kapatid. Sabi nga nila, di ba, no man is an island. Walang nabubuhay ng para sa sarili lamang niya. Amen. And, and 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 the truth is, you know, we cannot we can't have community by ourselves. That's impossible. Amen. We need one another. In fact, God Himself exists in community. God by nature, He is a triune God. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and they work. Who oh, I like this. They work perfectly together in unity and harmony. So yung Diyos na ating pinanggriling ko na mga kapatid, by nature, who? He is a triune God. And I believe na ito rin yung desire, gusto na mangyari ng ating Diyos na tayo ay maging isang parte ng komunidad na kung saan siya ang nagtayo. Amen? Na kung saan siya ang nagahari. Amen? Hindi lang ito kung anong klaseng you know, komunidad na nakikita natin out there. Ito ay isang komunidad na kung saan ang ating Panginoong Yesus siyang naitataas. Amen? My question to you is, kapatid, 
Gusto mo ba na ang buhay mo na itataas mo ang Panginoong Yesus? Gusto mo ba na yung buhay mo ay nagiging isang, sabi nga, mabangong samyo? Amen? Um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, isang mabangong samyo sa trono ng Diyos. And I want to encourage you to be part of that community wherein God is the one na nagbibuild, mga kapatid. Amen? Hallelujah. So, so uh, for this afternoon, mga kapatid, um, we will just continue. Tayo lang po ay magpo-flow doon po sa ating uh, tema, uh, which is community. Uh, the importance of being connected to a community. Bakit ba napakahalaga na tayo ay konektado sa isang komunidad? Amen? Isang komunidad na kung saan ang Diyos ang siyang nagtatag. Na ang Diyos ang siyang naghahari. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, I'm so excited for uh, to preach uh, this afternoon. Pero pwede ba tayong manalangin muna? Amen? Aming amang nasa langit, marami pong salamat sa hapon na ito. Sa opportunity na kami po ay makatanggap ng inyong salita. Lord, hindi ko alam kung anong pangangailangan ng iyong mga anak. But I know that you know. Lord Jesus, and right now, Lord, Ikaw ay kumikilos na. Ikaw ay gumagawa na, Panginoon. Hallelujah. At salamat, O Diyos, na patuloy naming matatanggap ang iyong salita na merong kalayaan, merong kapayapaan, at merong kagalakan sa puso namin because we need your word. We need your word more than anything else in this world. And so, Holy Spirit, have your way. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And amen. So the importance of being connected to a community of God, amen, or the kingdom of God, you know, paghahari ng isang komunidad na kung saan, it's a, it's a Christ-centered community. Amen? Well, of course, ito po ay nagsisimula sa ating connection sa Diyos. Amen? Hindi natin maituturing ang ating sarili na tayo kabilang sa komunidad na ang Diyos ang siyang nagtayo kung tayo ay hindi konektado sa Kanya. Amen? And that's my question. Are you connected to God? Have you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Because if you did, then let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, you are now part of the kingdom of God. You are now part of the family of God. Amen? At tayo ay kabahagi pang Uh, mga kapatid, hallelujah, sa mga kayamanan, whew, inheritance na, you know, prinami sa atin ng ating Panginoong Yesus. Amen? So if you are connected to God, then mga kapatid, you are now part of the church. In fact, you are the church. Amen? And the Holy Spirit now, I, you know, Nung tinanggap mo ang ating Panginoong Yesus, ang banal na Espiritu ay nananahan sa iyo. Amen? Ang banal na Espiritu na ang siyang gumagabay sa buhay mo. Now, I want us to define what community is. Ano ba yung community? So, uh, tignan natin, you know, according to uh, Webster, ayan. according to Webster Dictionary, sabi po dito, community is a feeling of fellowship with others. A fellowship with others. In other words, mga kapatid, like what I said kanina, you, you know, you cannot have a community by yourself. Amen? You cannot have a community by yourself. Community is something that you can't live without. You are created We are created for connection. And this is what Pastor Etz, you know, uh, ito yung shidern niya kaninang, uh, kaninang, uh, kaninang umaga, mga kapatid, that we are, you know, created for connection. We are created for relationship. We are created for fellowship. And we are called for community. Amen? So a feeling of fellowship with others. Amen? And as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. So meron ditong word na sinasabi na sharing of common attitudes. 
So, sa isang komunidad, mga, mga kapatid, you know, hindi ka lang parte ng isang komunidad, kundi ikaw rin ay nagsishare. Amen? Tayo ay nagsishare ng ating you know, common interests, common goals, Amen? Common attitudes. Although we have different kinds of attitude, different kinds of personality, but because Jesus is the head, Amen? We can work together. Come on! If you are seated beside your somebody, if you're seated beside your mom, your dad, you know, tell him or t- tell her, we can work together. Amen? We can work together in unity and harmony. Come on! That's the community that God is building. A community we're in, we can work together. In love. That's the motivation, mga kapatid. Amen? That should be our motivation kung bakit, kapatid, pwede tayong gumawa ng magkakasama, na merong unity, na merong harmony. Hallelujah. So fellowship with others and, and this, this joy, the joy of sharing. Come on, when was the last time, kapatid, na ikaw ay naging masaya dahil ikaw ay naging, nagkaroon ng isang opportunity na ibahagi kung ano yung meron ka? Amen? Especially sa, sa, sa pamilya ng Diyos, mga kapatid. Amen? And that's why we're so grateful, we're so thankful for your generosity, mga kapatid. Na dahil sa iyong generosity, ay tayo pa rin nagpapatuloy. Amen? Na magbahagi ng salita ng Panginoon. Taatin pa rin, you know, na, nagagampanan yung ating uh, mission, kapatid, na kung saan tayo ay mag-share ng salita ng Panginoon. Because ang kailangan ng mundo, kapatid, ay si Jesus. Amen. People are looking for hope, but they're looking looking on the wrong place. They're looking on, you know, they're they're, they're searching for a for a wrong person. But but let me tell you this, mga kapatid, yung pag-asa natin, pag-asa ng mundo na to, ng ating community, kapatid, ay nasa kay Kristo lamang. Amen. And we are part of that movement, like what Pastor S is saying this morning. We are part of God's movement. We're not stuck. Come on. Hindi tayo nakastock, mga kapatid. Amen? We are a movement. And this movement will bring change. I don't know about you, but I want to be part of that movement. A movement that will bring change into the lives of, the, into the lives of people. Hindi tayo, kapatid, yung magbabago sa kanila, kundi ang Diyos. Why? Because mararanasan nila ang Panginoon. Amen? May encounter nila ang Panginoong Yesus. At kapag na-encounter nila ang Diyos, kapatid, yung kanilang, uh, yung kanilang perspective sa buhay ay magbabago, yung kanilang attitude ay magbabago, mga kapatid, and they will embrace their calling, they will embrace everything that God has prepared for them. That's what we want as a church to see and experience. Amen? And you are part of that. You are part of this movement. We are part of this community, the church. Woo! I love the church. I love the church. And I'm sure, nami miss mo na yung physical gathering natin. Alam mo kung papipiliin ako, anong mas gusto mo, pastor? Online service or physical service? Of course, physical service. Because that's how the church was designed. Na tayo kapatid ay magkakasama-sama sa iisang lugar. Na tayo ay umaawit. Amen? Na tayo ay nagtataas ng ating kamay. Na tayo ay sama-samang nakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. Na tayo ay sama-samang nagko-communion. Amen? Na tayo ay sama-samang nagbabahagi ng ating mga experience, ng ating mga testimony sa isa't isa. Amen? That's the church. But, you know, because of pandemic, <laughs> hindi tayo pwede, amen, na mag-gathered physically. But you know what? God is a God of wisdom. And I believe na ang Diyos, wala siyang limitasyon. I believe that our spirit, ang ating mga spirito, mga kapatid, ay dikit-dikit. Amen? <laughs> I don't know the right term for that. But you know, our hearts are knit together. Our, we're still connected in the spirit. That's why wherever you are, I'm sure you're at home. Amen? Or maybe you're at work. But let me tell you, that wherever you are, we are still connected to each other. Amen? 
we are still connected, though we're not connected physically, but I believe that, you know, in, in our spirit, in our soul, we are still connected to each other. And let me tell you this, you can experience the presence of God wherever you are. Amen? The, the presence of God is no longer limited to the four walls of this building. Come on. The presence of God is everywhere. You can experience the presence of God everywhere. And all you have to do is to look up and say, God, I need you. Lord, I want your embrace. Lord, I want your presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God doesn't want us to be isolated. Amen. Alam niyo, napakahirap na ma-isolate. And me personally, I experienced that. When, when I was tested uh, positive of COVID, uh, for how many days I was in a quarantine facilities. Although hindi man ako nag-iisa, kasama ko yung uh, kapatid ko at saka yung aking sister-in-law. But, you know, inside of me, I was so isolated. In me, there is this feeling na ako'y nag-iisa. But, you know, thank God for community. That there are people na nag-reach out sa akin no, na kahit na, you know, ako ay duma- dumaan sa isang punto ng buhay ko na ako'y nahihirapan to the point that I was depressed and anxious. This feeling of uncertainty. There are people na nag-reach out sa akin. Merong community that anytime I can just tap into that. And ask for prayer. Pastor, kailangan mo ng prayer? Of course. Amen. Hindi ibig sabihin, kapatid, na kami ay pastor at nangangaral ng salita ng Diyos, ay every day kami ay malakas. No. We're still human. Tayo, kapatid, ay, ay pare-pareho lamang. Amen. Sa mata ng Diyos, kapatid, tayo pantay-pantay. Kung ikaw ay nakakaranas ng problema, kami rin ay nakakaranas ng problema. Kung ikaw ay nakakaranas ng pagsubok, kami rin ay nakakaranas ng pagsubok, mga kapatid. But that's the beauty of community. Amen? That when we are in need of something and we, are, we need help, mga kapatid, nandyan yung community to reach out to you, to pray for you, amen? To give you counsel, to give you advice, to encourage you. That's what community is all about. Come on. Amen? So God doesn't want us to be isolated. He wants us to be connected first to Him and to the community that He established. Are you part of a community? Do you consider this church your home church? Amen? You see, if you are isolated, mga kapatid, mahirap. Because if you are isolated, madali para sa kaaway na ikaw ay kanyang atakihin. Hindi ba? Pag nag-iisa ka, minsan, doon, yung, doon, doon mas... Doon mas, mas, mas ano eh, kumbaga, uh, mas nararamdaman mo yung temptation. Doon mo mas parang nakikita yung uh, nararamdaman siguro yung pagkilos ng kaaway. Kung paano kanyang uh, ninanais na dalin sa isang lugar na kung saan ay hindi maganda. Isang lugar na kung saan ikaw ay pwede niyang madaya or pwede kanyang manakawan. Amen? Katulad ng kagalakan, kapayapaan kapatid. So when you are isolated, you are prone to the attack of the enemy. Amen? Hallelujah. Because most of the time, when you are isolated, that's the best time for the enemy to attack you. But thank God for community. Because you don't have to carry the load, all the load, by yourself. Meron kang community, kapatid, na nagpipray sa'yo. Minsan, siguro naisip mo na, or na-feel mo na parang walang nagkikare sa'yo. Or walang, nag, walang, walang parang gustong kumausap sa'yo or something like that. But let me tell you this, there's someone or there, there are people na nananalangin sa'yo, na nagkikare sa'yo. Amen? Hallelujah. Now, I want us to go to, to Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. Ayan na. Ayan, may verse na tayo mga kapatid. 
<laughs> Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, sabi dito, Then the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper fit for him. So dito, mga kapatid, makikita natin uh, na tayo, kapatid, ay nilikha ng Diyos hindi upang maging mag-isa. Amen? Kundi tayo ay nilikha ng Diyos upang meron tayong makakasama sa buhay. Amen? Sa ating pananampalataya. You know, back in the Garden of Eden, di ba? Nung nilikha ng Diyos si Adan, ang sabi sa kanya, you know, I will give you dominion, I will give you authority, I want you to take care of this garden. I want you to work it and keep it. But then, nakita ng Diyos yung pangangailangan ni Adan. Na kailangan niya ng makakasama. And so what God did is, ang Diyos ay, lumik- ay nilikhain niya. Amen? Si, si, si Eve. And, and both of them, and I believe na ito yung kalooban ng Diyos, ito yung simula na kung saan ang Diyos ay gumagawa sa tao upang ang tao ay magkaroon ng isang komunidad. Amen. Magkaroon ng isang family. Di ba? Family is the what? The, the, what's that? Yung, yung pamilya kapatid, ang, ang, ang pinakamaliit na, what's that? Uh, family is the small part of small unit of society. Am I right? Tama ba? Or small unit of community. Amen? At kalaoman ng Diyos kapatid na, na, na tayo ay maging kabahagi sa pamilya na ito. Amen? Hallelujah. So, even in Genesis pa lang mga kapatid, ay sinabi na ng Diyos na hindi mabuti na ng tao ay mag-isa. That's why mga kapatid, you know, I want to encourage you, don't isolate yourself. Maybe some of you here, sinasabi mo na, you know, I'm introvert. But but still, mga kapatid, I want to encourage you. I will respect that. I will I will respect your your your, your personality. But hey, kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay you know maging bahagi ng isang community. Because like what I said, there are some point in your life na hindi mo kaya nag-iisa ka lang. That's why we are here as a church. Amen. We are here as a church and we are here for you. We are here for one another. And in Acts chapter 2, verse 44 to 47, this is one of the uh, perfect picture of a community. In Acts chapter 2, starting verse uh, 44, it says, Now all who believe were together. Come on. We are meant to be together. I mean, we better together. Come on. We are better together. Amen. And had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all. Talking about sharing. Amen. As anyone had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple, in the church, and the breaking of bread from house to house. They ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. This is one of the perfect picture of a community. Amen? Ito yung isa sa you know, perfectong halimbawa kapatid ng isang komunidad na ninanais ng Diyos na ikaw at ako ay mapabilang. Amen? Hallelujah! In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 to 16, it says here, I'm just going to read this, and we're going to flow. Uh, dito po sa verses na to. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all came to the unity of faith. Unity of faith. And of the knowledge of the Son of God to a 
perfect man to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we should no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting, but speaking the truth and love. That we may grow up in all things in Him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes the growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. I believe that we are called to a community of faith. Community of, of faith. Community of believers. Amen? Isang komunidad na kung saan, kapatid, ay merong pananampalataya. Woo! Come on! Gusto mo bang mapabilang, kapatid, sa isang, sa isang komunidad na kung saan ay merong pananampalataya sa Diyos? Amen? You know, I don't know about you, but I want to be surrounded by people whom I know na itong mga tao na ito, sila ay merong takot sa Diyos. Amen? Na sila ay merong pananampalataya sa Diyos. Kasi itong mga tao na ito, mga kapatid, kahit may problema, kahit may pagsubok, hindi-hindi yan basta-bastang bumabagsak. Amen? Hindi yan basta-bastang sumusuko. Sila ay lumalakad sa pananampalataya. And, and that's why you are here. You are part of this church. Amen? You are connected to us. We are connected to, his, to each other. And the Bible says, iron sharpens iron, mga kapatid. We are here to encourage one another to serve God. Amen? We are here to encourage one another to continue dun sa ating pananampalataya, mga kapatid. Because at some point of our life, minsan, nangihina tayo. Meron ba ditong hindi nangihina? <laughs> I'm sure, di ba? Lahat tayo ay naranasan na nating manghina. Siguro spiritually. No? Although, I would always say na si Lord, kahit kailan, hindi siya nagkulang. Amen? I, I mean, everything that you need for you to grow in your faith and continue to grow and fulfill your calling, your destiny, I provide sa'yo ng Panginoon. But, you know, because we're still here on earth, and the Bible says that in this world you shall have tribulation. Amen? Minsan nakakaranas tayo ng sakit. Minsan nakakaranas tayo ng kahirapan. Amen. Minsan nakakaranas tayo ng problema. And when we are so focused on those things, those negative things, minsan nakaka-apekto to sa ating spiritual ng buhay. At minsan tayo ay nangihina. But it shouldn't be, mga kapatid. In fact, dapat kung tayo ay nakakaranas ng problema, ng pagsubok, dapat mas lalo tayong lumalapit sa Panginoon at mas lalo nating inilalapit yung ating sarili sa komunidad. Sa simbahan, kapatid. This church, amen. Because you are part of this church. You belong in this church. You belong in this house. And we're not here to condemn you. We're not here to condemn one another. We are here to help one another. So, we, so that tayong lahat, kapatid, ay patuloy tayo na lalago. We need that community. We need that kind of environment. Amen? Na kung saan, hallelujah, kapag yung kapatid mo ay nangihina, meron kang kapatid, meron kang brother, meron kang sister na tutulong sa'yo. Amen? A person or a group of people that will not condemn you. Amen? A group of people that will not condemn you but will help you go back to God. Or it will help you restore yourself. Amen? Isang, isang komunidad na kung saan, kapatid, tayo ay patuloy na lalago sa ating pananampalataya. And I don't know about you, but I can say that even though tayo ay nakakaranas ngayon ng kahirapan because of this pandemic, I can still say na ako ay nag-grow. 
sa aking pananampalataya. And it's not because of me, because in and of myself, I am limited. In and of ourselves, we are limited. But thank God for His grace and thank God for the, His church. Thank God for the people. Salamat sa mga tao na ginagamit ng Diyos. Na sa mga panahon na ako'y nahihirapan, na sa mga panahon na gusto ko nang sumuko, may mga taong nag aflip sa akin, may mga taong tumutulong sa akin. Amen? And they're, they're doing their best, they're trying their best, amen, to point me back to Jesus. You need people. And when you are in need, they are not there to condemn you, but they are there to point you back to Jesus. Maybe to correct you. Amen? Somehow, amen? But this correction is founded in love. You see, when you correct somebody, don't just correct that person because of the wrong na, uh, dun sa pagkakamali na nagawa niya. But you know what? Encourage that person. Amen? Encourage that person to, you know, to, to para siya kapatid ay magkaroon ng lakas. Amen? na harapin anuman yung problema na yun. Hindi yung sisisihin pa natin siya. Mayroon mga ganun tao. No? Sinisisi ka pa, eh, no? Uh, kumbaga, you're feeling down na nga. <laughs> di ba? Ida-down ka pa, di ba? You know, you know, but, you know, wala dito yung sa new life. Amen? Wala dito yung sa new life, North Metro. We're not here to, you know, to pull down people. We are here to uplift people. Amen? We're here to help one another grow in our faith so that we may become mature enough, amen, mature in our faith. Magkaroon ng muscle yung pananampalataya natin, kapatid. Hallelujah. We need people. And sometimes God will use people, yes, to correct us in love, amen. Sometimes God will use people, you know, just, just for us to realize na, hey, what you're doing is not good. <laughs> what you're doing is not right. This is the right thing to do and I want you to, you know, embrace that. I want you to embrace the will of God. Not, not just this thing because maybe ito nakikita mo ay parang maganda but at the end of that thing, it will bring destruction to you. You see, thank God for people that sometimes God will use to, you know, give you that signal or that warning in, in your heart na, hey, that's not I don't feel that's the right thing to, to do. Because that's not in line. Hindi siya in line sa salita ng Panginoon. We need those people. We need that kind of community. Amen? That, that all of us, we are, we are, one, we are, we are part of one body. And, and it says is that every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share. And that's something that I want to encourage you with. You have a part to play. Amen? You have a place in the kingdom of God. You have a place in this community. Hallelujah. And number two, a community that works for the good of everyone. Romans chapter 12 Verses 3 to 8, it says, For by the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith and that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us. Let us use them if prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, and the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Amen? Come on. You have a part to play. You have a part in this community. You have a part in the body of Christ. 
And let me tell you, kapatid, walang maliit na parte. Amen? Every part of the body is important. You are important in this community. And that's why we're here. Amen? The reason kung bakit tayo'y patuloy na sumasamba sa Panginoon, nakikinig ng salita ng, ng salita ng Diyos, kapatid, amen, upang tayo ay patuloy na mature, amen, at kapag tayo ay patuloy na giging mature, we know, tayo ay magiging able na hawakan or lakaran anuman yung plano ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Because like what I said before, God will never give you something that you are not yet ready to handle. Two things can happen, mga kapatid. So either you will miss it or you will abuse it. And so, while you're in this community, amen, and God is teaching you, God is shaping you, molding your character, mold na yung character mo, mga kapatid, amen, yung attitude mo ay nagiging attitude, amen, na, na, na katulad kay Kristo, amen, at tayo ay mas nagiging humble, Amen? Not just tayo nagiging humble, amen, kundi tayo ay nagiging confident na ang Diyos na tumawag sa atin ay mabuti, siya ay tapat at maganda ang kanyang plano. At habang tayo ay nagpapatuloy, nagmamature, at na-enjoy natin yung kaharian ng Diyos, na-enjoy natin kapatid yung pagahari ng Diyos, yung komunidad na kung saan ang Diyos tayo ay kanyang itinanim. Amen? Woo! Darating yung time na tayo magiging handa sa mga bagay na inihanda na na para sa atin. That's why I pray that we're not a pathed Christian. We are, you know, should be planted, amen, in the house of God. Di tayo pathed, di ba? Ito na kayo ng, uh, tawag na yung halaman na nasa paso, kapatid. Alam mo, kahit, kahit gaano kalaki yung potensyal ng halaman na yan, kapatid. Kung yan ay nasa pasulang, limitado yung paglago niyan. Limitado yung paglaki niyan. Pero ang isang halaman o isang puno na natanim sa ground, amen, sa malawak, amen, na ground, kapatid, yung kanyang potensyal ng paglaki ay, you know, makukuha niya, maha-achieve niya. Why? Because yung kanyang ugat ay mas lalong lalalim at Pag ang ugat ay mas lalong malalim, kapatid, mas maraming nutrients yung kanyang masisipsip. At dahil marami siyang nutrients na masisipsip, kapatid, itong puno na ito ay marireach niya yung kanyang full potential. And that's the will of God for each one of us, mga kapatid. Nice ng Diyos na tayo ay matanim sa isang komunidad na kung saan siya, ay, siya ang nagtatag ang kanyang simbahan upang tayo, kapatid, ay lumago. Amen? Hallelujah! At ating madiscover yung mga talento, yung mga gifts, things, amen, callings na binigay sa atin ng Panginoong Yesus. Hallelujah! Amen! Dahil merong binigay sa iyo ang Diyos. Merong giftings, merong callings na binigay sa iyo ang Diyos. And, and, and to be honest with you, it's, it's not actually for you. Now, there's joy when you use it, amen? But really, it's for the people. That's why community, it's all about people, amen? It's all about people. It's all about loving people. You know, I heard this from one preacher, and his name is T.D. Jakes. I don't know kung kailan si T.D. Jakes. But there's this one line in one of his uh, sermons, he said, you cannot love God and then hate your brother or hate people. How can you say that you love God but you hate people? Because God loves people. And if you want to be part of this community, hate should not be part of you. But only love and kindness and mercy Amen? And so I believe, mga kapatid, nasa simbahan na to, we don't allow hate. We don't allow strife. We don't allow division. Only love, peace, joy, gentleness, the fruit of the Spirit. Amen? If I may say, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then number three, a community that love one another. Community that love one another. Um, John chapter... And there are three things under this uh, key point, a community that love one another, is we love one another through words, through acts, through... Uh, we, we, we love one another through words, through actions. Amen? Uh, dalawa lang pala, sorry. So through words and through actions. John chapter 13, verse 34 to 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Come on. Like what Pastor Ed said, said love should be the motivation. Love should be the atmosphere in that community. And it's not your love, it's the love of God in you. You know, minsan, uh, mahirap, minsan mahirapan tayong mahalin yung tao, di ba? Kasi yung sarili nating pagmamahal, yung, ginag- yung ginagamit natin para mahalin yung tao. No, it's the love of God in you. And let me tell you this, you don't have to please people. Because we cannot please everyone. Amen. In a community where you are belong, you cannot please everyone. Hindi mo please lahat ng tao sa komunidad na yan or sa simbahan, kapatid. But you have the opportunity to do good to every person, to everyone in that community. And I pray that everything that we do for people is not for our own interest, but for the good of everyone. Amen. Love should be our motivation. Amen. Mahal mo ba yung tao, kapatid? You know, I'm not talking about romantic love. Amen. Talking about the love of God. Amen. You know, loving people as, they, as, as God loves them. Come on, that's the community that God is building. A community of love. Amen. A community wherein nakikita yung pagmamahal ng bawat isa. Amen. We're not here to tear down each other, mga kapatid. And can I say this? I'm not a threat to you. <laughs> Amen. We are not threats. We are here to encourage one another. Come on. Hindi kaaway. Amen. Kundi kakampe, kapatid. Amen. Pwede bang sabihin mo sa katabi mo, hindi kita kalaban. Kakampi kita. Amen. Sa takbuhin na ito, kapatid, takbuhin na kung saan tayo ay tumatakbo na merong pananampalataya sa Diyos. Tayo ay tumatakbo upang ating matapos, upang ating magawa, anuman ang plano, anuman ang pagkatawag sa atin ng Diyos, mga kapatid. We are not here, amen, to hate one another. We are not here to compete with one another. We are here to help one another reach their callings, achieve and be successful. Whether in business, whether in family, in relationship, come on, that's who we are as a community. Amen? We should love one another. And we should show that love through our words. Alam nyo, minsan, isa sa mga nagiging uh, dahilan kung bakit maraming tao or may mga tao kapatid na uh, nasasaktan at misa kapag nasasaktan sila ang hirap nilang bumangon why? because of words sometimes mas matalim pa yung words eh diba? that's why as, as believers I want to encourage you you know to speak life to one another amen to speak encouragement to one another. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 4, in the New Living Translation, it says, Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Amen. Let's be gentle with our words because it will always bring life. 
Amen? Don't cast curse. Ay, huwag tayong mag, mag, huwag tayong magsalita ng mga bagay na negatibo or mga bagay na magiging dahilan upang masira yung relasyon natin sa kapwa natin. Come on! Hallelujah! I believe na kung, kung alam natin na tayo itinawag sa community na ito, we're not here to uh, tawag doon upang upang awayin ang isa't isa. Tayo kapatid ay pinagbuklod-buklod ng Diyos para sa isang layunin. Amen? Upang maganap yung kalaoban niya para sa ating community, para sa ating simbahan. And you can also express your love through your actions. 1 John chapter 4, verse 20 to 21. In the NL, NLT translation, if someone says, I love God but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people, we can see how we can love God whom we cannot see. And He has given us this command. Those who love God must also love their fellow believers. Hebrews Chapter 10, verse 24 to 25. NIV translation. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. You know, we've been quoting this verse for how many Sundays na mga kapatid. But this is the truth. And I believe God wants us to embrace this truth. Amen? It should be our priority as, as, as part of this, this, this community to love one another, to encourage one another. Sometimes it's so easy to judge people based on their behavior. But we don't know what's really kung ano talaga yung nangyayari sa puso niya. And so don't be quick to judge people. Let's not be quick to judge people. But let's pray to God. And ask God for wisdom. Ask God for guidance. How can, how can I help, Lord? How can I help this person? I know there's something going on sa buhay niya, but I want to help because that's my role. That's, that's, that's my... That should be my part. That's something that I know bilang isang part, bilang parte ng isang komunidad. I have that I don't want to say responsibility. But I want that. I have that opportunity to help that person. Isn't it amazing to have a community that helps one another? Isn't it amazing to have a community that loves one another? Now, of course, misan may mga misunderstanding. Misan may mga, di ba? May mga may mga misan sa 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 family mo lang, di ba? Minsan sa mga kapatid mo or minsan sa mga, sa mga mag, sa magulang mo, minsan nagkakaroon kayo ng misunderstanding. But at the end of the day, you're still family. They are still your family. I heard this before. You can choose your, your friends, but you cannot choose your family. You, that's, this is your family. And yes, at some point, may miss natin or, or magkakamali tayo But that's not who we are. We are not defined by our mistakes. We are not defined by our failures. And we are here not to, to condemn one another, one another, but we're here to encourage palakasin yung bawat isa sa atin. Come on. We're here, kapatid, for one another. That's community. Ito yung komunidad na binibuild ng Lord. We're part of one body. Christ is the head. Amen. 
And so I pray na tayo kapatid ay mananatili sa komunidad na ito. Hindi lang mananatili kundi tayo ay patuloy na lalago. At sa ating paglago ay patuloy nating mararanasan ang pagsama ng Diyos. Oh, I want that. Amen. That in this community, we can experience the miracles of God. Not just one miracle, kapatid. Miracles. Amen. Miracles of God. That all of us will witness how good God is in our life. Kung kaano siya kabuti. Na tayo, mga kapatid, ay ma-witness natin. Hallelujah. Kung paano ang Diyos ay nagpapagaling ng mga may sakit at karamdaman. Na kung paano, hallelujah, ang Diyos ay nagpapalakas sa mga taong nangihina. Kung saan ang Diyos ay yumayakap sa mga taong nalulungkot, sa mga taong nawawala ng pag-asa. I want to see that. We want to see that. And together we can. Because God is with us. Amen. God is with us. That's why, kung meron, ka, meron mang goal, meron man tayong goal, kapatid, is, I believe na kalooban ng Diyos na tayo ay manatili, na nakatanim sa komunidad na ito. And to be, to be more specific to this church. Amen. This is your community. This is your family as well. And we are here for you. Amen. We're here ready to pray for you. And we can wait. Hindi na kami nakapagintay na makita kayo personally. Mag-greet kayo personally. Mapag-pray kayo personally. There is, there is, there is this one. There was this one time, na lockdown. You know, I think, it's, I think it's Friday or I know it's Tuesday or Friday. May pumunta dito sa church, and I had, I had this, parang na parang anxious in my heart. You know, pray for them, pray for this family. And I prayed for them, and once again I felt that, alam mo yon that you really care for them. You, that you pray for these people. And they were blessed. Amen. Are you happy when you see people blessed, being blessed by God? I pray, kapatid, na tayo ay patuloy na pagpalain ng Diyos. At tayo ay manatili sa community na ito. Amen. God is the one who established this community. Amen. At patuloy tayo, kapatid, na lalago at sama-sama patuloy nating mararanasan ang pagkilos ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Maybe you're here and you're looking for a community. Hey, we're here. Our doors are Uh, paano ba ito? Close pa kasi, di ba? <laughs> Because our, our doors are open. Ayan. Amen. But we're here for you. Amen. If you're looking for a community, you're looking for a church, hey, home is here. Amen. And like what I said, we can't wait to see you in person. We can't wait to worship with you. Amen. Together, we are pulling from heaven. We are declaring the promises of God. You know, hearing and receiving the word of God, the promises of God. So can I pray for you? You're that person and you're looking for a community. Father God, salamat po sa hapon na ito. Salamat po sa mga kapatid ko na nakikinig na inyong salita. Lord, I pray if meron mang tao dito, Panginoon, through online, naghahanap ng isang simbahan, naghahanap ng isang community, Lord, I pray that right now you're touching that person's heart. And I pray, Lord God, that your church, this church, should open door and we welcome them to this family as you welcome them 
into your family, Lord. Lord, I thank you, God, that patuloy na mararanasan namin ang iyong pagkilos, ang iyong pagsama. And together, Lord, we will grow in faith, in love. We will continue to walk in truth. We will continue to declare your word, your promises. Salamat sa pag-asa na meron kami. Salamat na sa community na ito, Urkai. There's no, thank you that there's no place for, for hate. There's no place for division. There's no place for strife. But only unity, and love, and joy, and peace, and harmony. Salamat po, Panginoon. Hallelujah. We're so excited sa gagawin mo pa sa buhay namin. Lord, bless the listeners of your word. And ano man ang pangangailangan nila, Panginoon, I pray na ikaw po ang magbibigay, magpuprovide ito. Sa iyo po namin, Lord, pinagkakatiwala ang lahat. Aming mga buhay sa pangalan ni Jesus. Lahat po yung magsabi ng Amen. Amen! Amen! Well, marami pong salamat sa inyong uh, patuloy na pagtutok, I mean, pagsama sa atin dito sa ating service. And like what I said, like we're always saying, you know, we're so, we can't wait to uh, see you in person. Amen? To have, to do service. Amen? With you here at the Metro Space. But I believe soon, mga kapatid. Amen? So patuloy lang tayong maniwala. Patuloy lang tayong magtiwala. And also, we want to thank you for your generosity. Amen? Thank you for being faithful to your tithes and offering. Amen? As we continue to preach the word, we continue to bring the gospel to those people who are in need. Amen? So marami pong salamat mga kapatid and we will see you again on next Sunday for another amazing Home is Live. God bless everyone and we love you.